getting rid of resentment. Resentment is like drinking poison and waiting for the other person to die. You may have been belittled. You may have been taken for granted. You may have been insulted and humiliated. You may have been criticized. Your character may have been questioned. It's not easy experiencing these. They attack and compromise your self-worth, self-esteem and self-respect. You may take many months. If the emotional damage caused is severe, you may even take many years to heal. Because of the turmoil you've gone through, it's natural for you to feel deep resentment, especially if you've been mistreated since childhood, perhaps since teenagehood. Resentment keeps you imprisoned mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. You will not be able to experience positive emotions like love, joy, and peace if you harbor resentment. You will not be able to fully enjoy and celebrate your victories if you allow resentment to reside in you. Resentment is self-sabotage. It steals your right to a joyful life. You may think you're justified in being resentful. I'm here to tell you that there is absolutely no justification for robbing yourself of your one opportunity to live life to the fullest. Whatever the reason for your resentment, forgive those who have caused it. More importantly, forgive yourself for allowing others to mistreat you. Understand and know that you have no control over their behavior and choices. Understand and know that their actions could be due to emotional scars that have not healed. Perhaps that is the only way they know how to treat a person. This has nothing to do with you. Once you realize that you don't need to waste time and energy on something that's not you, you will be free to choose what's best for you. Make sure you don't allow anyone else to mistreat you. This will confirm that you have learned your lesson. Whenever a resentful thought arises, remind yourself that you have crossed that bridge and moved on willfully refuse to look back. Choose not to go down that road. When you find yourself in a situation that makes you feel and think less of yourself, politely excuse yourself. Remove yourself from the situation. You have far more important things to do you have your life to focus on. Choose not to give room for judgments and destructive criticisms. Make it clear that you will not allow yourself to be attacked. Be assertive. Stand up for yourself. Minimize communication with those who find it a challenge to treat you with respect. Spend more time with like-minded people. Surround yourself with people who lift you.
to your highest potential. If you attempt to bury resentment without dealing with it immediately, it will become stronger. It's a matter of time before your inner volcano erupts. That will harm you more than anyone else. Getting rid of resentment may not be easy. It requires lots of patience and an intentional shift in perspective. Keep working on it. Keep working on your inner harmony. Remember, you must forgive. Not because the injustice done to you doesn't matter, but because you matter most in your life. No matter what has happened, you must keep moving forward. Find joy in gratitude. Find joy in nature. Find joy within yourself and what others say or do to bring you down will have no effect. Aim to reach this point and you will be just fine. The truth is, unless you let go, unless you forgive yourself, Unless you realize that the situation is over, you cannot move forward.